Good evening. Uh, we're going to start with a strike that's being described as the most disruptive in the health services history. Junior doctors across England have begun four days of action in an ongoing dispute over pay. Now, it all started this morning at 6.59, to be precise, and runs until this Friday. But take a look at this. If you take into account the four-day bank holiday weekend we've just had and add on this coming weekend, it actually makes it full 10 days that the NHS is running a reduced service. So that's why it's being described as the most disruptive ever. As many as 350,000 appointments and operations are expected to be cancelled because of the strike. The doctors' union, the BMA, prefer not to talk about wanting a pay rise. Instead, they say they're asking for a pay restoration to reverse what they say is a real terms pay cut of 26% since 2009. But the government says that now amounts to a 35% pay rise, which the health secretary, Steve Barclay, says is simply unaffordable. So uh, with this being only day one, just how bad could things get? Here's Simon Vigar. Three years on from the pandemic, the chant is claps don't pay the bills. They say poor pay has caused a staffing crisis. Just gaps all of the time. There are constantly um, locum shifts, so that means like additional shifts being put out at the weekends, on the evenings. It's only got worse since COVID in terms of the amount of people that we have around, in terms of the morale of the staff, the number of people I see either leaving medicine or leaving the country. So you've got friends leaving right now? I have, I have a lot of friends who leave, who've either left medicine or leave the country. And the doctors here at University College Hospital know the strike is causing major disruption. There will be people watching this who support you, but today have had an appointment cancelled or surgery cancelled. What, what's your message uh, to them who say this is you know, going on too long? So I'm really sorry it's come to this. I'm really sorry to any patient who's had their appointment cancelled or their operation cancelled. I know that they've been waiting months, if not years, for this appointment. And the reason that we've had to cancel their appointment is because the government refused to negotiate with us. Nick Gladwell is one of those patients. He has bowel cancer and his appointment in Oxford today was cancelled. It shouldn't be involving me. This is two parties at loggerheads and I'm stuck in the middle and I feel my life's been put on the line for money. And there's still no sign of negotiations between the Health Secretary and the British Medical Association. So the first time we met with him, he told us he didn't have a mandate to negotiate pay. So our Health Secretary doesn't have a mandate to negotiate with the health union. And the second time... And you time, don't believe that? Well, no, now he does have a mandate the second time. So we gave him our opening position, as you do in any negotiation. One side tells the other what they would like. We want full pay restoration, we told Steve. And instead of giving us a counter offer, Steve left the room. We've tried to call Steve since then, he's gone AWOL. However, Health Secretary Steve Barclay was giving interviews today. A demand of 35%, which would involve some junior doctors receiving over £20,000 more in terms of their basic pay, is not reasonable to your viewers, to those who have to balance the wider issues of the economy and getting the inflation down. Day one of a four-day walkout, but the knock-on effects will be felt for weeks.